Ciao, sono Anna e questo è My Italian Circle. Can you read the news in Italian? Let's do it together. Today we'll talk about a new ingredient in Italian cuisine and about the Sanremo Music Festival, of course. At the end, I will ask you to tell me your favorite word for today. Ready? Keep watching! Non cambiare canale! Ti ricordi il granchio blu? Do you remember the blue crab that is invading the Mediterranean? There's another alien species that may become part of the menu in Italian restaurants. È un mollusco, a kind of shellfish similar to mussels and clams. Let's read our first headline. Cos'è la rapana venosa? Il mollusco insidioso portato da Chiara Pavan a Masterchef. Cos'è la rapana venosa? Il mollusco insidioso portato da Chiara Pavan a Masterchef. What is the veined rapa whelk, the insidious mollusk, brought to Masterchef by Chiara Pavan? I'm sure you know the TV program Masterchef. It's very popular in Italy as well. Chiara Pavan was a guest chef of Masterchef Italia earlier this month. Let's read more about her and her unusual choice of ingredients. Non solo granchio blu, not just the blue crab. Tra le specie aliene che suscitano l'interesse dei ristoranti c'è la rapana venosa. Among the alien species attracting the interest of restaurants is the veined rapa whelk, una grossa conchiglia originaria del mar del Giappone, a large shell native to the Sea of Japan. A portare questo ingrediente a Masterchef è Chiara Pavan del ristorante Venissa, vicino Venezia. Bringing this ingredient to Masterchef is Chiara Pavan of the Venissa restaurant in Venice. Il suo motto è trasformare i problemi in opportunità. Her motto is turn problems into opportunities. Secondo la chef, Nuove specie invasive, cereali tolleranti alla siccità, insetti e carne coltivata, sono ingredienti che accoglieremo con curiosità. According to the chef, new invasive species, draft tolerant cereals, insects and cultivated meat are ingredients that we will welcome with curiosity. I'm sure you noticed that many words used in this new story are very similar in English and Italian. Specie, ingrediente, motto, problema, opportunità, curiosità. You shouldn't have trouble understanding them when you see them in writing, but the pronunciation is quite different, of course. More words. Conchiglia. Seashell, like conchiglia di San Giacomo, Saint Jacques Shell. Carne coltivata, cultivated meat, lab grown meat. And accogliere, to welcome. Accoglieremo questi ingredienti con curiosità. Now I want to know if the following statements are true or false. Vero o falso? La rapana venosa è una pianta. Falso! È un mollusco. La rapana venosa è originaria del mar del Giappone. Vero! È un ingrediente della cucina giapponese. Secondo la chef Chiara Pavan, le specie aliene possono essere usate anche nella cucina italiana. Vero! Secondo Chiara Pavan, le specie aliene sono una opportunità. 
E tu che cosa ne pensi? What do you think? Have you ever tasted a rapana venosa? Leave a comment below. Sanremo 2024 In Italy, February is the month of Sanremo, the music contest followed by millions of Italians. And I know for a fact that a lot of people outside Italy follow it too. And the winner is... Chi ha vinto quest'anno? Let's read a headline from Il Sole 24 Ore. Sanremo vince Angelina Mango. Troppi artisti e poco coraggio. Sanremo vince Angelina Mango. Troppi artisti e poco coraggio. Sanremo. The winner is Angelina Mango. Too many artists and little courage. Needless to say, this week Sanremo is the focus of our special Patreon content. We talk about music and language. Have a look. Now, let's read more from Il Sole 24 Ore. È il Sanremo della noia. It is the Sanremo of boredom. <laughs> Questo è il titolo della canzone di Angelina Mango, due volte figlia d'arte, che si aggiudica la 74esima edizione del Festival della Canzone Italiana. This is the title of the song by Angelina Mango, daughter of two musicians who won the 74th edition of the Italian Song Festival. Il premio della critica va a Loredana Bertè, mentre il premio per il miglior testo va a Fiorella Mannoia. The Critics' Prize goes to Loredana Bertè, while the prize for best lyrics goes to Fiorella Mannoia. Gli ascolti lo premiano, ma Sanremo 2024 è stato poco interessante e poco coraggioso. Audience ratings were awarded, but Sanremo 2024 was uninteresting and not very courageous. Angelina Mango è due volte figlia d'arte. What does it mean? It means that both her parents are artists. They are both singers. She was born into art twice. And at just 22 years old, she shows great confidence and stage presence. Presenza scenica. Grazie a queste doti, Angelina Mango si aggiudica la vittoria a Sanremo. Aggiudicarsi means to obtain, to achieve. Her song is titled Noia, Bodom, and according to Il Sole 24 Ore, this was a boring festival, an interesting and not very courageous. I think there was something interesting about this festival, though. In recent years, more and more Italians of African descent are coming into the spotlight as athletes and musicians. At Sanremo 2024, Italian-Tunisian rapper Gali sang in Italian and Arabic and covered one of the most Italian songs ever, L'Italiano by Toto Cutugno. Io sono un italiano, un italiano vero. L'artista ha spiegato sui social la scelta del brano cantato a Sanremo. The artist explained on social media the choice of the cover song he sang at Sanremo. Amo e credo in questo paese che ripudia la guerra per costituzione. I love and believe in this country whose constitution rejects war. Sono nato in Italia. Mi sposerò in Italia. I miei figli saranno italiani. Morirò in questo paese. I was born in Italy. I will marry in Italy. My children will be Italian. I will die in this country. Sono anch'io un italiano vero. I'm a true Italian. A sign of changing times, 
un segno dei tempi che cambiano. The Sanremo Festival is often ahead of politics and in tune with the social changes. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our news in Italian. What is your favorite word? Did you follow the Sanremo Festival? Tell me in the comments. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our weekly video. I want to see you all next Wednesday. Ciao!